Okay, I'm gonna try and catch this in the act. I've I've had problems and tried searching YouTube quite a f there you go. Uh, quite a few times um, over the last year on my stereo radio whatever having issues where it just starts randomly ghost buttons and stuff and then even sometimes it'll change uh, the dash display up here it's annoying as hell I've seriously almost put my fist through this thing a few times uh, after a while I just end up just shutting it off sometimes when you restart the truck uh, it'll go away um, but it's actually progressively getting worse and you can see it just randomly changing right now like I put it on the radio earlier and then there you go it just ghosts now I pulled this out once just to check all the connections uh, I cleaned the screen really well that helped a little bit thinking you know like fingerprints were leaving um, but finally you know searching online looking at actual blogs not like a video um, there's a guy you know I've I have heard that um, changing the screen out uh, the outside of the stereo itself uh, the touch screen part only fixes the issue so what I'm doing now is I'm just recording just to let you know what's going on you can see it in real live time it's literally changing stations sometimes it'll just scroll through the most random stuff It'll scroll through my phone. I've had it try calling people before. I mean, it's just like somebody's just, a ghost is just sitting here and pressing all the buttons. That's really what's going on. Uh, luckily, I'm catching this in real time so you can see it. Uh, and then I'm, I ordered a new screen and I'm going to splice this into the video of me having the new screen. And I will let you know if it fixes the issue. I'll know within a, a couple days of driving it. Because literally, at this point right now, it happens... Uh, at least once a day um, depending on how much I'm driving uh, so just shooting this to let you know what the issue was and have the fix so that we can have some kind of video on YouTube uh, again there you go <laughs> it starts pulling up lists all uh, and it starts getting crazier too the warmer it gets the crazier it goes <laughs> it's really annoying uh, but it's kind of funny at this point um, so I'll splice in after I have the fix here. Uh, this is just the first part of the video and you'll see me again soon. All right, later. Okay. Part two. I just got the part in. I got the, the, uh, stereo out. You can find videos online to pull these. Uh, it's really, really simple. Uh, the bezel around, uh, the stereo itself just pops out. It just has a bunch of clips in it around the outside. You can just use a, uh, a softer pry tool and pop an end or pop a corner and then slowly work it out. Be careful. Uh, this bottom piece is not very thick and you could break it and it does have a tab here. Anyway, and then there's just four bolts. Uh, there are seven millimeter bolts or screws on the four corners. And then the, this does have two tabs, uh, one on each side that holds it in as well. So you have to pop those out. Uh, this is the the front screen, I know there's a specific name. I'm spacing it off right now. This is the issue, according to uh, online. And uh, I will hopefully link, leave a link below this video of where I got this on eBay. I think it was 40 bucks, $45. They have come way down. I remember when I first looked at these, they were like 200 250 something like that. Um, man, you can find them all over the place now. Uh, I'll leave the specific seller that I got this from below the video. And then uh, I'm gonna pull this out and, and replace the screen. There's a couple of videos you can find of people actually replacing the screen. Maybe I'll link those below the video as well. I'm not gonna video that part. Uh, I'm just showing you what I got, what I'm doing. Uh, maybe when I have it out, I'll show you once I have it replaced. And then I'll show it back in and uh, report after a week or so and see if it continues doing it. All right, see you in a bit. So just a quick little blip in here. Just got the old screen off. Uh, what I did, it sits on here like this. What I did was I used a heat gun on this uh, to loosen the glue on the back of this. Um, and then I just kind of pried it off carefully without bending this frame. This frame's really thin, like aluminum or whatever it is. So you gotta be careful not to bend that. Uh, after I got this off, um, 
I had to clean the frame because it had all the old glue on there. So I cleaned all the glue off. Then I realized that the new frame does not have like any kind of glue adhesive on there. And so I was looking around for some other videos and there's a specific glue that I'm gonna go get. It's like this Elmer strip glue uh, that you just kind of roll on here. I'm gonna go buy it. If I can find it, I'll pop that back in the video and I'll get right back to you. Okay, wanted to do a final video. Um, on this whole radio issue. Uh, it's been almost a month since I've replaced the front screen on here. Uh, we'll leave the link to what I bought uh, down below in the description. I did get it on eBay. I think it was like 45 bucks. Uh, I remember they used to be like 250 bucks or something like that. Um, but it seems to have solved my issue. The issue that has literally been driving me nuts for a year, year and a half. Um, but it, it had gotten so bad that literally you'll see in early in this video that it was changing channels on me It was switching my dash. It was changing everything uh, It was really really annoying Now all my buttons work again. I can hit buttons and it goes to different stations right away uh, It doesn't auto change. We drove up to Portland. Uh, it never changed a channel. It never beeped. It never ghost pressed it uh, ghost pressed at all so this clearly has fixed the issue uh, and it was not too difficult there's some videos online that show you how to go through the process and then of course mine will kind of fill you in on some of it as well but this fixes the issue um, i tried the unplugging of the wires in the back and all the weird videos that people make online and supposedly fix it this fixed it um, and i just wanted to make this video to document it just in case it did work so that somebody that like me that was out there searching for the right fix has it this did it for me anyway i hope it works for you let me know if you have any thoughts or questions and thanks for watching appreciate it